copyright notices if you wish to read pause the video the original videos are linked in the description down below enjoy all right then so in this one what you're going to be looking at is reggie owning a police constable giving him a bit of education and not letting him bully him and it is quite simple interaction but quite an entertaining interaction as well reg is absolutely brilliant at being very entertaining so we'll just get straight into it and then I'll have my opinions as and when I need it. There's no law in this one what needs putting in because there's no laws what are being said in it apart from the uh, Union Jack being defaced. But let's just get straight into it. Help. All right, then, so that's all that interaction should have been. Nothing more, nothing less. The, the copper asked him what he's doing, did he need help? Very, not very polite, but oh well. And then jumps in his van, and then they should just drive off. But that's not what's going to happen. What you're going to see now is a bit of an ego trip. So let's let's see. No, my friend, I am filming. Why? I uh, uh, Blackpool. No, Blackpool, not me. I can film you. No, you can. It's not very interesting. Put your seatbelt on, my friend. I do what I want to do, thank you very much. Oh, you must put your seatbelt on. Okay, I can tell you what to do. No, you must put your seatbelt on. It's law, my friend. Please, put it on. It doesn't look like I'm doing, my friend. We'll do it now. Don't tell me what to do, man. I'm telling you what to do. It's the Road Traffic Act. So, Reggie in this case is right. It's rule uh, 99 to 102, I believe. Uh, Seatbelts and child restrictions. I believe that's what it is. I'm not 100% sure. And I'm not going to pull it up at this moment in time. But what you're seeing is this copper's ego get a bit hurt because somebody's told him to put his seatbelt on. And then he said, don't tell him what to do. And he told him what to do again. And now his ego seems a bit hurt when really what he should have done is just put his seatbelt on and driven off. Look at this guy's tyrant. Right. Can I not tell you to put your seatbelt on? You can do, yeah. Which I was doing. Yes, yeah, so he said, you don't, don't tell. Yeah. You, you, said don't you said, don't tell me what to do. I can do that. We have a very different accent now, don't we? Yeah. Because yeah. you would just go out tyrant on a foreigner. That's what you did then. No. You thought I was a foreigner, no, and you just about to go a tyrant on me. Absolutely not, my friend. Next time, put your seatbelt on before you start your engine. That is the protocol from DVLA standards. So don't come this whitewash stuff. Oh, it's a different attitude now, turning your engine off. I'm talking English to you now, because you, that's what you understand. Next yeah, time, you put your seatbelt on before you start well, your engine on. Oh, I'm see, because you're a tyrant. Look at that blue. Look at that. Okay, then. So let's go through my protocol of getting into my car. So I, I unlock the car. I get into the car. I empty all my pockets into the side door. I plug my phone into the USB. So I've got a ch so it's charging and I've got it connected to my car. Then I drag my seatbelt over and then I start the ignition. That's my... That's my routine every time i get into the car those exact same things so i empty my pockets which is normally my wallet my business phone and my personal phone i normally put my wallet and my business phone into the pocket the, the door pocket i take my personal phone and plug it into the usb so it's charging and then it and then i'll put the seatbelt on 
And when I start the ignition, my phone connects to my my car through this with the screen and everything. And then obviously when I pull off, I emit, I do all my checks before I pull off. Now, if your routine's any different, let us know what your routine is in the comments. Do you do something different to that or what this officer did? Let us know. Blue line, there. That is not the British flag, my friend. So don't deface it. Uh, so yeah, we understand it. It's a symbol for a police charity. Or it can be a symbol for uh, corrupt police officers, because if you look at most corrupt police officers, they all wear the same thing. And if you look at the definition of a gang, a gang is an organization which have a, a logo, which could be the badge, and partake in criminal activity. Some of these uh, police officers and police constables do partake in criminal activity. So by definition, they're a gang. Not just that. Yes, it's to support uh, fallen officers, which I am not against. The problem is, you asked him where he bought the badge from, he doesn't know. So that money might not be going towards that charity. And so the Chief Constable of Lancashire Police yep. should not allow this. Well, if you wish to make a complaint, I'm sure... You, you will not turn up to court with that on, and I can guarantee... I do. You, no, you don't. Well, I do, because I was in court three days ago. And you turned up with that on? Yep. Right, I'm going to... Right. 5703 Webster. I'm going to report that because it's not part of uniform. You should okay. not turn up to court with anything you know other than. Make the I do professional standards. Oh, I'm just checking. So you know yeah, I do know. Yeah. Go through the website. So yeah, but they're as, they're, as, they're as corrupt as you were just about to be with me. Why do you jump out of your van with me? Why? Just for filming? No, not to do with filming. I haven't stopped you, have I? What? I haven't stopped you filming, have I? Oh, well, I want to go back to your van. Can I, can I do that? So why do you come out to your van with me? Because you started getting difficult, that's why. You difficult? Attitude with me. Attitude? Can I not have an attitude? You. I'd just like to come and speak to you. Make why? Sure you're all right. I'm all right. That's absolutely fine. But now. you thought I was a foreigner and you were going to take advantage of that. It's got nothing to do with that. You said, don't tell me what to do. Well, well look, yeah. you serve me because I'm a taxpayer. Well, no, you just told me I serve the Crown, actually. Yeah, which in turn so, gives you the right to you serve know. me. Yes, jog on, officer, please. I'll go when I'm ready to go. Well, no, I've just Jog, told you to just my time. jog on from my space. Oh, I'd love to be away from you, don't worry. Will you? Well, move it then, please. I'll go when I'm ready, don't You will go when I tell you. Move it. <laughs> We've got a tyrant here. So I've let the rest of this video play through. What is your opinions on this blue badge? My opinions are really they shouldn't wear it. It's not uniform and they should only wear stuff which is uniform. I don't not like them. If they want to support their charity, then do that in your own private time, not when you're on duty. Or if you want, no, do it in your own private time, not when you're in, on duty. It's as simple as that. Uh, the... The fact that he jumped out and had his like ego hurt, so he had this big interaction which was unnecessary. That's where the problem is for me. He didn't need to jump out just because he didn't like to be told what to do. That's that's exactly what this was. He didn't like being told what to do. He jumped out and he thought he'd be able to bully Reggie. And his attitude changed completely once Reggie stopped with his fake accent. That simple. Let us know in the comments down below what you thought of this interaction. As always, like the video, it does open YouTube's algorithm, and I'll catch you on the next one.